Welcome to the vlog. This is my new camera. It's pretty sweet. Hopefully it looks good. This is the Sony ZV-1. Man, life. What a, what a thing. What a thing to behold. The daily grind. Humans, people, which are the same thing as humans. And then dealing with all of that put together. I think this is a pretty sweet camera too. It's like a point and shoot. So this is uh, what Sony ZV-1 looks like. It comes with this like hot shoe mount and then I just bought this man Frodo tripod. It's a little screen flips out, which is pretty sweet. Dealing with daily life, there's so much on my plate. Being a business owner, I'm sure some of you understand that are watching this. Really having it all kind of fall onto your plate. It's all kind of your responsibility if things don't happen. Hello, this is Jesse. Hey Jesse, this is Joe Carlucci at Brightway. How you doing? Joe, hey man, what's happening? Policy. Yep. Time to step anywhere on the wall. Alright. You got the rest of it? Yep. Alright, man. Okay. Like I was saying, life gets to you sometimes. It's been an amazing, amazing week. Just today has been a little bit interesting. This camera actually kind of mounts. Okay. I'm digging it. So far, I'm liking the camera. Let's go, Sony. Come on. J Lane Construction. J Lane Construction is my company. I just got a phone call from our client that we just finished a 10,000 square foot oxygen bottling facility for. They are blown away by the results. I have the certificate of occupancy in hand, which is what we shoot for the entire job, is to get that certificate of occupancy for the client and so they can actually operate their business. When you're dealing with these commercial clients, the CO, is everything and then you're done with the project so we got our co at, at robert's oxygen we're bidding about a million or two million dollars worth of just other commercial work which is a lot of details to manage and you have to make sure that, that you have everything accounted for which we always do j lane construction is one of those contractors that has everything up front bullet pointed per division like finishes and mechanical electrical plumbing and thermal and moisture and um, all the things the masonry concrete metals general conditions, everything is broken down in bullet points so the client can see exactly what we're giving them up front. And so we don't skimp on our estimates, which takes a little bit more time up front, um, but in the end, it's completely worth it because the client doesn't get upset that most, a lot of contractors will come in and change order the client for things that they maybe even intentionally left off. We don't do that. So I'm actually headed right now to the office and I'm gonna meet a new business partner named Justin. We're actually starting a brand new company, which I really can't talk a whole lot about right now, but if you keep watching my vlogs, like and subscribe, maybe leave a little like even right now. Come on, just stop, go down there, click the thumbs up button, it's really not that hard, it helps the YouTube algorithm. Justin and I are starting a new business, and I'll give you the premise. The premise is a residential contracting company. <laughs> because J Lane Construction really is a commercial GC. That guy is dropping stuff on the road. Last week, Jay Lane Construction was actually just awarded the best general contractor of 2020, which is insane. This is the second year in a row we've won the award. The COVID thing has been interesting to get through. So there's been a lot of responsibilities like reviewing pay applications, reviewing the proposals that my project managers and estimators are, are creating, reviewing all the little details that come into everything. And you know, I trust my people, but there's a time where it's like, you forgot this, you forgot that. I'm always, everything is ultimately my responsibility. And so I'm actually developing, like at year six or seven here, I'm actually developing clients. So I'm starting to get like Orange Park Mall and these different people that are doing medical build outs and like they are kind of calling us again and again um, for, for projects and it's really exciting. Um, especially like even just the oxygen facility and the auto dealership and the orthodontics office and the bank and the church and the animal clinic and just so many things that we're doing starting to develop a client base and so I'd recommend that to you to develop your client base by blowing people away with your communication don't just call an email like text with the the guys that you're dealing with the owners and give them thumbs ups and smileys and like be personable be, be real send them little videos of like hey just following up with that project you didn't even ask for it but hey this is where your project is at i think those things go a really long way here's here's justin pulling it out justin is a licensed realtor he's a real estate agent he and i are going into business because we have so many development opportunities on the residential side and it's just starting this this business together and so I'll tell you what why don't i introduce you to 
Just the arm. Howdy, howdy. Are you on the phone? I am, I am. Well, it never ends. Wrap that up, dude, and then we're gonna introduce you to the vlog. All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. See you soon. Come on, stop. Yeah. yeah. Look at this guy. You're on the vlog today, dude. Hey. Got the new Sony Z ZV1. How's it feeling? Feels good, feels nice. Oh, I'm here, I'm still here, man. Yeah, sorry. Uh, nah, I just ah, <laughs> You do it for the vlog, for dude. For the vlog, dude. All right, uh, can we maybe like explain what the, who the heck you are? Well, if you got a second. John. Well, I'm Jesse's cousin, guys. And he gives me about 0.25% of all profits, and it's been a good deal so far for me. It's not true, but I give him free rent just about <laughs> in my new condo. And we moved, he moved in. Uh, uh, hey, Tyler, can you call back maybe in like seven minutes? Would that work for you? Thanks so much. All right, bye. It's actually a builder trend. Gonna get set up with the new account with Jay. Yeah, I can't say it. I haven't told him yet. Gonna get set up with a new account for the new business, which obviously you'll know more about as time passes. But uh, Jordan, this is a quick flashback to us in the tub. The tub is so full that if you splash and it goes out of the tub, it'll go down the cracks into the basement. Uh, oh, Tim, but you're all right. Look at you guys. You're like sailors, huh? What's happening, dude? Oh, man. We're vlogging. Staying productive. <laughs> Where are you going? Everyone's doing pretty well, I would assume. You want to want to scoot in there? Yeah. I kind of introduced you as an epic real estate agent in Jacksonville. New business partner, setting up a new thing. I haven't told them what it is. Obviously, that's between me and you. Cool, All cool. Right. <laughs> but they know it's a residential contracting company. So, awesome. You know, we'll disclose maybe the name on a future vlog once things get pumping. But having so much on both of our plates, ultimate goal is to find someone who can take off responsibility, take responsibility off of our shoulders. Estimating sales, project management, um, and pretty much what we've been doing is setting up EIN numbers. We just did a 50-50 bank account at Chase. Yep. We've done the LLCs, like 50-50 LLC. About um, to do general liability insurance. That's what I had my phone GL, out right now to do. Comp. Work comp. Builder trend. Builder trend, which actually he just called. I said, call me back in like five minutes. Okay. You know, a lot of people here are, are wanting to start their own business. Gotcha. And so it's like, dude, we can even probably put together a Georgia number. I don't think it's a, a course for like how to actually like do all the front end Dude, work. It's for, all, I've already built the built, whole template. How many businesses have you like done? Like seven different businesses that are all LLCs. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have an incorporation as well. We have a 501c3 organization, depending our status there mm -hmm. with the IRS, so a nonprofit. And then, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's I exciting how all those businesses are kind of all integrated, funnel to each other. Yep. Justin's kind of got his whole, his, his whole own thing. And I have my whole own thing with, of course, J Lane Construction and everything that's going on there on the commercial side. But it's really been nice for me because I've always wanted, like, you, you, if you saw like some of my vlogs in the past, you maybe heard me talk about starting a residential contracting company one day. Like, I was going to call it Jacksonville Kitchen and Bath, but I'm like, I still have that LLC. But yep. I was like, you know, I always I needed a partner, and Justin kind of randomly reached out to me and um, was like, hey, can you like help me pull some permits? I'm like. Nah, <laughs> but why don't we go 50-50 on a business? So we, that kind of just worked towards that path, and we did it. We're actually meeting a guy uh, in about 45 minutes to interview, and we have another guy. Coming out of Virginia. Coming out of Virginia, yeah. driving from Virginia with his wife, getting a hotel tonight to meet us to be kind of like a, a partner. And we spoke to him yesterday. We spoke to him yep. yesterday. Just met the guy because he actually applied randomly to Jay Lane. I'm like, you're all residential experience. Hey, I have an opportunity for you. Yep. So anyways, ramble, ramble, ramble. Let's get down to business, dude. Let's do it. Thanks for being on the vlog. Oh, Ricky Tillman. Ah, oh, Ricky oh, Tillman. No, no, we're good, we're good. I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, dude, we got everything set up. We interviewed someone. We hired someone. We got pretty much all the groundwork done on, yeah. on the business thing. You know, it's it's really exciting. Dude, let's flip around. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> boom. And so... um. Yeah, dude. The purpose of, of me being a part of this business is to separate J Lane Construction from this new business. Residential can be more emotional and a little bit less margin mm -hmm. and a lot more to manage sometimes. Although commercial can be complex with fire suppression and all these different things and firewalls and thicker drywall and just metal studs and the types of clients are more sometimes more stringent. But the types of subcontractors that I deal with on this side is on the commercial side is much more professional. So it's almost like a businessman to businessman relationship. Right. Whereas sometimes on the residential side, things can be- A little hand-holding. A little bit more <laughs> babysitting, you know? Yep. And um, being a general contractor, your two main tools really are bottles and diapers. 
Um, it's kind of a, <laughs> a joke on the inside of like managing subs. No offense if you're a sub, <laughs> but that's kind of like how what we deal with. I mean, to to an extent is um, that kind of thing. So that's why the key is getting good subs that are running their sub businesses like a business, right. because that's what it is. It's a business. Yeah. So, but there still can be profit there if it's managed correctly. It's more volume based. Yeah. And that's the key with with commercial, even in like commercial real estate. You know, you can get one or two big deals make six, seven <clears throat> figures with residential real estate, it's volume. Same the, thing with construction. Another big thing is cash flow. With commercial, things can sit for months. I've worked on projects trying to get a job for a year and a half. And then, you know, all of a sudden, you're sitting there, it's 90 days go by, and you still haven't been really paid for, you know, a couple months prior. Right. So residential, for me to have this, this side business, is that uh, we got some, we got a company here too. For a minute, we got Jordan in there, we got the whole crew. Um, it's more of a cash flow thing as well. Cause right. we can go sell a $35,000 job, we make our 12 to 18% or whatever it may be. We're still figuring out all the numbers and um, we're rocking and rolling. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you are maybe interested, email support at jacksonvillerc.com. Maybe you'd be interested in joining our team. It'd be kind of an interesting opportunity. We're gonna probably grow pretty fast in the next year or two because of Justin's experience with real estate, my experience with general contracting and already growing a business for the last seven years in Jacksonville. And so we'll see you in the next vlog. Peace. Cool.